Hey guys, thanks for watching Homesteading on the Side. Um, tonight's Saturday night, and it's my husband has to work late, so it's just me and the kids here at the house. And we figured that we would make some appetizers and watch a movie. So I'm going to throw together some spinach artichoke dip. So for this recipe, we're going to need some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, I've got breadcrumbs here. You can use unseasoned if you like. These are seasoned, and... Um, these are, yeah, these are from a box. You can use your homemade, but I am fresh out, so this is what I have on hand for this reason as a substitute. So I have seasoned breadcrumbs. Um, thyme, I use ground thyme. My husband tends not to notice it as much as the dried thyme, so I kind of sneak it in, and I love the way it tastes. Um, onion, this is only half an onion. I'm using the other half for my Southwestern egg roll, so I'm only gonna use half an onion and a really good sized clove of garlic about a cup of Parmesan cheese, a whole block of cream cheese. I've got six tablespoons here of mayonnaise or about a third of a cup or so. This is my home canned mayonnaise and I, I put it in a bowl because I want everything to try to come to room temperature because I'm not really going to cook this until it goes into my baking dish. So um, I've also got a can here of artichoke hearts. Um, Fresh artichokes are kind of hard to come by, and to me, they're a little intimidating. Um, I guess I just need to quit whining and grab a few and just kind of do it to it and give it a try, because I have no idea whether or not they're hard to break down. They just, they intimidate me. <laughs> um, but I, I go ahead and grab these, and these are not marinated. Make sure you get the all the ones that I could find in the jars, all the ones, they're all marinated. So these are the only ones that were not marinated, so... Those are the ones that I use, and I usually have two or three cans of these um, because we love this so much. So my spinach is almost done defrosting. I'm going to drain it and squeeze it, and let's get started. So I've got some olive oil in the pan, and I'm going to start. I'm going to soften um, the onions and garlic. Like I said, this is all going to be mixed together and then baked in the oven, and I just don't want like huge raw chunks of garlic. And onions so I'm going to saute these in some olive oil and I may throw this in the microwave for a, just a few seconds just to kind of get it to soften because it's still pretty cold this was a last-minute decision so um, let me let me get my onions and garlic sauteed and this soften and when you're done with these just throw them in the bowl all right so I added my um, onions and garlic to my cream cheese and on top of this, let me stir this around just to kind of get it moving a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add in my six tablespoons of mayonnaise, my um, container of spinach that has um, been rinsed and squeezed out, all the water's gone, a cup of Parmesan cheese, half a cup of breadcrumbs, and I'm going to drain and rinse these and chop them up and throw them in. And then you'll only need about a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme. I said my husband's not real big on it, so I I like to add a little bit, but I really don't don't want to overdo it. So a little goes a long way with thyme. So I'm only going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of that. So let me get everything combined, and we'll be right back. Yeah, I've got the artichokes drained, rinsed, and oops, chopped. They're in. The spinach is in. Everything is thrown in here. So I'm going to just mix this all very well and get a little Pyrex dish. Alright, so this all mixed together. And it takes a little bit of elbow grease to kind of get the spinach all mixed together. But um, I went ahead and tasted it a little bit, seasoned with salt and pepper. I've got a round, this is actually a pie dish, but I like the tall sides and it's easy to, to dip. And I just use serve it with tortilla chips and you can get your tortilla chip in the little crevice there. So I'm just going to transfer it here, and this doesn't need to take long um, to cook because everything in it's already cooked, and all it needs is just the cheese inside to melt. So I'm going to transfer this here, and I got a little bit of cheese left, so I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top and cook it at 350 just until it's all bubbly. Couldn't help it. Wanted to show you. It's not even cooked yet, and it's beautiful. Here it is out of the oven. I'm going to dig in with some tortilla chips. Hope you enjoy.